We are finally done unpacking. We are officially moved into the new house. We have a couple of small things left like you know, hanging TVs, but we got Wi-Fi, which is the most important thing. I still have to work on my office. It looks like a mess right now. And on top of that, the, some of the lights are not working. That's why I'm shooting in this room. Let's get right to the topic though. Calisthenics. I have seen great progress, even though I wasn't working out as much as I used to while I was in the apartment because I had to move. For seven days straight, I was moving boxes left and right, up and down, until we finally found the perfect position or location in the house. Moving boxes around the house was actually quite the workout. I was sore every single day, mostly in my calves from going up and down all the time. I think I, I had 30,000 steps every single day for an entire week. I unintentionally lost some weight. I'm currently at 173, which is low for me personally, but it actually helped me with calisthenics. During the last week, I didn't do any leg workouts. All I did was push-ups and pull-ups because my legs were sore from moving. Surprisingly enough, my handstand game got really good. I can now hold my handstand a little bit longer. My push-ups are getting better, and I also improved my Mm, let's say the, the, the more advanced push-up where I bring my shoulder almost to the ground. So I'm very proud of the progress so far. I realized that I put so much focus on dips that I kind of neglected pull-ups, which is one of the biggest things in calisthenics. Now pull-ups are my weakness, which means I have to put more focus on them. So here's my current routine. I walk outside, I mobilize every single joint in my body, and then I start with handstands. Why do I start with handstands? Because I want to make sure that my body is ready and fresh, meaning I don't want to be exhausted and then do handstands and then all of a sudden my muscle gives in and I, you know, collapse on my head. So I've seen a lot of progress just doing tucked handstands, just jumping up there and trying to hold it as long as I can. Um, sometimes I realize if I don't fully extend my legs, I kind of lean too much forward, which makes it more difficult for me. So the next phase is just like I bring myself up and then I spread my legs and I just balance with my legs and I hold the handstand for as long as possible. After a couple of rounds where I hold the handstand for at least 10 to 15 seconds, I move on to some handstand walks. Handstand walks were crucial for me just to build the strength in my shoulder to actually support my entire body weight on just one arm. Since I'm a beginner with calisthenics, I immediately, after only five to 10 minutes, feel the pressure on my joints, especially my wrist. So I have to move on to something else and that's usually pull-ups. So with pull-ups, it's very easy. I, I grip as far as I can and then just, you know, go for as many reps as possible. After a short break, I do another set where I bring my hands a little closer all the way to do some chin-ups. So basically I do a bunch of different variations to make sure I really exhaust my muscle in different angles. After pull-ups, I move on to dips. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I love dips. Now I love them even more because I'm getting stronger and now that allows me to put on more weight on my body. Now I have this extra vest and I think it's around 25 to 30 pounds in total. With dips, I usually go for seven to 10 sets of maximum dips. After dips, that's when I have some fun. I started doing assisted front levers and they're extremely hard, but it's cool to just feel my body in the position that I want it to be. So I just use a resistance band, tuck it around the pull-up bar, put my feet in there and let the resistance band pull me up. In that position, I just try to flex as hard as possible to bring my body even higher and hold that position for as long as possible. My goal is to hold this position for at least 30 seconds before I reduce the strength of the resistance band and start from scratch. And I want to continue this until I don't need a band anymore and then hopefully in a couple months I'll be able to do a front lever. With push-ups, it's the same thing. I'm, I'm so proud of myself that I actually did you know my daily push-ups and did as many as possible and focused on form because now I'm at a point where I have the strength, I built the strength so I can play a little more. So for example, now I do bar push-ups, meaning I have my hands closer to my hip and I bring the shoulder all the way down to the bar. Sometimes when I'm feeling flexible, I try to bring the bars a little uh, further and just go even deeper. This is where I've, I see and feel the progress. I'm getting stronger. I see that I can hold my hands in longer. I see that I can hold myself a little longer in the front lever. 
So all in all, great update for me, even though I wasn't working out as much as I used to before the move. But now, as I said, we finally moved in and now I'm back to working out every single day. My gym is fantastic. I will do a, an entire video about the gym as well because I have some more stuff ordered already but that's a different video so calisthenics i'm still in love with it so that was it that was another update for my calisthenic journey um i predict that my handstand game will be very strong very soon because for some reason the, the, the progress in my handstands is just like it's like that but yeah that's it for today's video guys if you want to join the community bodybybattle.com i'm on discord every single day for at least an hour where you can ask me anything you want. Make sure you sign up if you wanna to talk to me. I'll see you in the next video.